Well, if that's all you have in the way of pitches, thanks for stopping by. Wait! I have one more idea. P.J. O'Rourke, the movie. P.J. O'Rourke, the American political satirist, the Mark Twain of our times. How long have you been sitting on that pitch? It's brilliant! We can get P.J. O'Rourke to play himself. No, you're thinking small. You gotta think big. You gotta think box office draw. You gotta think William H. Macy. Well, tell me a little bit more about it. No, no, I'd love to do your movie. Uh-huh. Shameless, we're on hiatus right now. Hey, I see me doing O'Rourke with, uh, with a Fargo dialect. Oh yeah, I am cooperating. <laughs> That's great. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the set. Macy backed out. He's doing Fargo too. I really liked what he was gonna do with the role. Trumpets! I'm gonna be dancing in the show. Well then, you know, I'd be honored to play PJ O'Rourke in your show or movie or whatever. The thing is, Mr. Walken, we actually want you to play William H. Macy's character from Fargo playing PJ O'Rourke. Huh. Intriguing. I'll do it. Trumpets! Walken's out. Dead Zone 2. Too bad he would've been great for the role. Get me John Cleese. You do know you're talking, of course, to John Cleese, don't you? Yes, I don't know anything about your cleaning. So let me get this straight. You want me to play Christopher Walken playing William H. Macy in Fargo playing P.J. O'Rourke? I don't know any of them. I'll do it. He's in. I won't do it. No, apparently um, one or all of them uh, have slept with my second wife and uh, we just won't have any of that. So uh, I won't be doing it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I've read your script of PJ O'Rourke. Interesting proposition. I come out of retirement to save the day just the same as I did as James Bond in Never Say Never Again. Mm -hmm. No, I will not do it. I will never play an actor who plays an actor who plays another actor. But James Bond. Jody Foster. I thought Connery was playing Cleese. Well, play that fell through. So it was up to Foster to play Connery to play. Well, you get the idea. But Alec Baldwin put the gabosh on that. He's got the power to do that. His professional jealousy does. Wait a minute. Jealousy, anger, rage. Get me the Incredible Hulk. Hulk smash deal. Hulk is out. Too bad Charlton Heston's dead. Mm. Oh, I just spoke to Tom Hanks. He said he would do everybody except for Foster, Cleese, and O'Rourke. Well, it's no big deal if he doesn't do O'Rourke, but Foster and Cleese, that's a deal breaker. Well, Sandra Bullock said she would do everybody, but she has to include Hugh... Jackman? Grant! Yeah. Fine, as long as she does them after Cleese. She insists on leading with Grant. <sighs> Welcome to development hell. P.J. O'Rourke just texted. He said he would do the role. He's not right for it. You know what? We're gonna go with Bullock, but uh, keep Meryl Streep's number handy, just in case. This summer, John Goodman, arguably the greatest actor in the world, plays Meryl Streep, playing Sandra Bullock, playing Hugh Grant and Hugh Jackman, playing the Hulk, playing Judy Foster, playing Sean Connery's James Bond, playing John Cleese, playing Christopher Walken, playing William H. Macy from Fargo, playing P.J. O'Rourke. Don't you know, I got the right to do whatever I damn well please. I don't know, the quote just seems incomplete without the consequences. In Hollywood, there are no consequences, only sequels. P.J. O'Rourke, the movie two. I'm on it! Money. <laughs>